All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours and the praises and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence and honours to the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few the very few brothers and sisters that are listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days this lesson is going to be based on the wicked the, the ones that are in rulership today Job 9.24 the earth is given into the hands of the wicked he covereth the face of the judges so we know this earth has been appointed into the hand of the wicked for a particular time right which really started off in the renaissance the Rothschilds came back into what power during the renaissance right and a lot of them what crept in because what in the UK not just in the UK Europe you had a lot of people infighting just like just how you have today they call it so-called black on black crime so-called Israelite crime and that's how Esau got up in there. When I mean, you actually go into the Black Plague, right, that was a play on words. The Black Plague was, yeah, Israelites dying out in Europe from diseases, which was a part of the curse, curses for the wickedness, right? And Esau eventually what got back up in there, right? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the face of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he, right? So we know, yes, he's covered the face of the true. The true judges, he's covered their faces. And who are the true judges? Israelites. And this is in a physical aspect from iconoclasm. Type in iconoclasm and it goes into a defacing of images. Right? And when you type in iconoclasm, you'll come up with all these different Israelites images that would be turned, they were what? Brown images. And they'd be what? A painting, a fluid or painting that would be painted over what the face is because they didn't want you to know who was ruling in Europe during the Dark Ages and Lord willing Lord willing we can show you some pictures later on of those that were ruling in the Dark Ages and they didn't want you to know these things right and that's what it means he covered the face of the judges because Israelites you go into an Israelite's home where Israelites got a wallet he may have a picture of his son or family photo our family our people are known for what the photo so we had Images everywhere, and me still to this day, right? Now, images are everywhere, so they couldn't destroy all of them. Okay, he covers the face of the judges, and that's when what Esau, excuse me just a minute, got back in power and started to rule. Because pr previous to that, where were they? Because some people say, Well, what were they doing? before they took over they were in slavery right that's why you had something called the Byzantine Empire right even during the time of the Moorish which the Moors were Israelites that adopted the custom of what the Muslims you type in Moorish Empire you do know you had a lot of Edomite slaves during the Moors just type in the image and you will see what Edomite women being enslaved by what? The Moorish Empire in Spain, which were actually Israelites that converted to Islam. Right? And it says Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. Folly is setting great dignity and the rich sit in a low place. So folly is esteemed in this world. This is what's esteemed folly, foolishness. You know, even on the internet, it's like um, the X Factor that gets like two billion views. You know, oh how many um, how many um, cakes can you eat within a minute? You know, that gets like a billion views, but that's folly. So folly is esteemed within this world, foolishness. Right? And TikTok, all this TikTok rubbish. Oh, that's highly esteem and it's foolishness. Folly is set in great, great 
dignity and the rich sit in a low place. The rich are us. We are actually rich and more rich because we have this word, sit in a low place, right? I have seen servants upon horses. S servants were the Rothschilds. Once upon a time, you do know they were our servants. And they even know that, right? Upon horses. And the reason why they were known as servants because prior to them be called, to be, being called, um, what was it, what was it, what was it? Prior to them calling themselves what they're calling themselves now, they were known as the Bowers. Prior to themselves be calling themselves Rothschilds, they were known as the Bauer family, which is German for peasant family, right? And remember, they were in Germany, right? They set up banking in Germany, Frankfurt and different regions, all right? So they were known as what? Peasants, slaves, prior, right? I've seen servants upon horses, and horses horses represent strength, might, dominion, so sovereignty. Right? That's what horses represent, sovereignty. And princes walking as servants upon the earth. So who are them princes walking as servants? It's us. What are them princes walking as servants? Because we are yet this day in our captivity. And the scriptures show us that in Deuteronomy, also in Deuteronomy what, 28. Right, that we are still in what captivity? Okay. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it. Okay, that's something else. Bear me just a minute. And we can all go into this bear me just a minute. I want to go to Revelations. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. As well, we're gonna grab I think it's Revelations. I want to get this in the right order. Because just prior to that, they were in the caves. Let me go to Revelation, see if I can find it. Um, where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Here it is. This is Revelation 20. And I saw an angel come down from heaven having the great key of the bottomless pit. And a great chain in his hand. Why was this chain in his hand? Hmm? Why was this chain in his hand? Because it was a chain of captivity. Right? For what? The Edomites. Right? So it's not how you think it is today when you go to London, you see these prestige the prestigious cities and so forth, and you think, well, wow, Esau is so great, he's so splendid. No. Right? Once upon a time. He was in them pits and that bottomless pit was what? Europe. It wasn't bringing forth, it didn't have much. It was known as the bottomless pit because it wasn't bringing forth much as well. Bottomless pit. It wasn't producing anything. It wasn't producing any sugar, no sugar cane, no crops, no spices. And that's why you have a thing as what? The, the, what's it? The Pilgrim Fathers. The Founding Fathers, that's why they had to flee, right? to India and that's why you have the Dutch East Indian companies right the British what they call it British Dutch what they call it that because Europe was a bottomless pit that's why they had to sell out sell out to get what resources and shut him up and set a seal upon him right and this is when they yes they were in the caves right that they should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled and after that he might be loose a little season right which is a very very long time this is during the dark age from Byzantine up till the renaissance period so that was a very 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 long time a thousand years a thousand years right but Esau won't tell you this they will not tell you this right so we went to that now let's go to Job 30 Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Let's go to Joe Ferdy. And 
Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Job 30. But now they that are younger than I. And Esau is younger than us. Spiritually, he's younger than us. Right? Have me in derision. Right? In contempt. Right? Whose fathers I have with disdain have set the dogs of my flock. With the dogs of my flock. Why? Why did Job say this as well? Because what are Edomites known for? Yes, bestiality. Yeah, they sleep with animals. It's a fact. I've seen I've seen Edomites kiss their dog on the lips, sleep with their dog. You're not supposed to do that. And this is what's happening. That's why Job said I would have set with the I would have disdain to have set with the dogs of my flock. Because you cannot trust them with the dogs. And this is still practiced today. And even in certain places, it's legalized. Yeah, where unto might the strength of their hands profit me because they were, were slaves at one point of time, in whom old age was perished, for want and famine they were solitary. Right? For want and famine. Key thing it says want and famine. So they were in need. Right? Fleeing into the wilderness in former time, desolate and waste. So this was still replying to the, what the thousand years where they were still bound. Right, former time, desolate and waste. They were in the mountains. The first one was Mount Mount Petra, right? But that's where they, they they were as the Romans in Mount Petra. They were somewhat somewhat more. I don't want. They were never civilized. Edomites were never really civilized, right? Then Mount what's the, what do you call it? Georgia, Russia, Ru Georgia, Russia, right? Their mountains there. Former time, desolate and waste. Right, who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat. So mallow and juniper roots, just type it in, you see what it is, like like a bit type of like a berry. Okay. They were driven forth from among men, so they were driven away out of society, and it's also a fact as well. Even a time of what? I forgot. I don't know what period of time. Even Saint George had to kick. Type in Saint George. Israelite that was ruling had to kick out what Edomites and where did they flee to some of them fled to Australia so even a lot of the convicts where were they in Australia so even a lot of the Australians were so-called what British even though we have a lot of a lot of them Australians are actually Israelites believe it or not yes a lot of them Australians are Israelites but a lot of them are what them British convicts that were kicked out of Britain right by King George right they were driven forth from among men and they cried after them as a after a thief okay after a thief they were driven forth they were kicked out of our societies right and they were driven forth as a thief right oh, that's spirit oh, that's the spirit because i'm looking at a van right and what does it say it says red red what well, red head this is red head and this is so spiritual they were driven forth from among men and they cried after them as a thief. They wanted to dwell with us, but they were pushed out. Right? They were they were as beasts. To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. That's where they were dwelling. What type in Mount um not Mount Petra, type, type in um What is it? What is it? What is it? Georgia, Russia. Right? To dwell in the cliffs of the valleys. In the caves of the earth and in the rocks okay and you look at a lot of these buildings they actually look like mountains from a distance yeah they look like mountains well, you might may be wondering why does he so build like this because it reminds him of his what how he was living right and these modern day buildings these houses are caves they're just like caves and when you type in mount say and Mount Petra, it looks just like the houses today. Just the same. Among the bushes they braid, among the nettles they were gathered together. They were like beasts. They were children of fools, yeah, children of base men. And this is showing you, this this is showing you you have such power. Who's ruling over us now? Children of fools, base men. Are ruling over us. They were violent in the earth, disgusting, vile. Even when you go back to the Khazar, you read about the Khazarian um, Empire. They were disgusting. Human sacrifice. Right? All types of madness was going on. Right? 
they were children of base men okay yeah they were viler than the earth and now I'm their song now I'm their bywords right this is when what they get into power now we become their song now we become their bywords right so it shows you what state Esau was in all right and ever ever since he's came into power what's his old thing to be to be established his new world order let's go to Psalms 10 the wicked in his pride have persecuted the poor let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined right so that's what they're doing they're persecuting the poor beginning with the elect and they even persecute their own people so it shows you how much they care about their own right for the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the coverages whom the Lord haveth so the wicked they continue to boast on what they have on what they want to achieve right they continue in that right they don't stop they continue to boast in these things they have a high level of what pride for the wicked boasts of his heart says they and blessed the covetous whom the Lord Jehoshua Abraham the wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the most high the most high is not all in his thoughts his ways are always grievous thy judgments are far above out of his sight so the ways of Yahweh are grievous unto Esau and these other nations that's why the men of the Lord are also grievous unto them as well and his ways are far out of his sight as for all his enemies he puffed at, puffed at them he taunts them think about Esau right he have said in his heart I shall never be I shall not be moved that's that pride I shall never be in adversity which he is going to be an adversity because even NATO is going to turn against America as well and the other nations his mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud that's what you're going to get from Esau under his tongue is mischief and vanity right nothing but mischief and vanity nothing but lies right he sitteth in the lurking places of the villages he in the secret places he doth murder the innocent in the secret places he murders the innocent right and he does this through various different ways chemtrails foods poisons silent weapons we're not making this up okay it's real life okay His eyes are privily, privily, privily against the poor. Privily is set against the poor. Right? So he's, he's lurking. He's lurking. Seeing how he can take how he can take down the poor. Right? He lieth and waits secretly as a lion in his den. So he's lying. Right? Secretly in his den. Crouching. He lieth and wait to catch the poor. And he doth catch the poor. And he does this a lot through his philosophies and different things the banking system loans so he catches the poor right and it says when he drove him into his net and the net is the system morning and he drove him in, into his net the net is the system this system is a net it's a trap it's one big trap i'm not trying to get out of this net and remember esau's a cunning hunter okay he croucheth and humbleth himself and the net is also the legislations he actually catches people by legislations put a mask on your face all right do this do that that's that legislation when he drove him into his net he croucheth and humbleth himself and that's why the scripture says never never trust thy enemy though he croucheth though he humbleth himself I forgot that's in the apocrypha right and it says and the poor may fall by his strong ones the military right and so forth and it says he have said in his heart the most I have forgotten he hide of his safe face he will never see it arise O Lord O power lift up thy hand forget not the humble we don't want Yahweh to forget the humble right I want to go to Peter's because that backs it up Baba Kashar. Right? 
Oh, and I want to say to Wadi Yahweh Yahweh Shai just for allowing me to be able to minister this word, for giving me a chance to salvation. Right? To Wadi Yahweh, to Wadi Yahweh Yahweh Shai, to Wadi Yahweh, to Wadi Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Right? Here we go, more bots. <laughs> more bots walking about, more agents walking about. Right? They've been, they've, again, they've been told, they've been told what to wear, <laughs> how to act, what to wear. Right? It is what it is. It is what it is. Right? Em embrace. My whole thing is embrace it. Right? This, this is the Lord's movie. So, you might, you might as well. <laughs> so, I mean, just a minute. You might, you might as well embrace it, man. You know, this is the Lord's movie. Right? And every, everyone's playing their part in the show. Right? Everyone is playing their part in the show. They have. To, it's like they have to be noticed. I ain't think. Look, I ain't thinking about them. Right? It's different color coding and all that. Come on, bro. Come on. Okay, pathetic. See, this this the thing. We have liberty in Yahweh Shai. Right? We have liberty in Yahweh Shai. So when we have this liberty, the pe these people in the world, I've got, to say, I've got to say this quick, we're going to get back to it. These people not being able to do, right, what they want to do, that's what, what that, you're in bondage. You're in spiritual bondage. That's why the scripture says, yeah, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Having to follow, having to take orders from someone, and follow someone and to wear different colours bro that means you have not you have your you don't need that means you don't even have a soul you're being told to put on what to put on what to wear where to go that's why you want to be in your shy right wear this colour wear some burgundy red uh put on some pink today right Go here, go there. It's sad. But this is the reality they've picked. So now you see those with the light, you follow those with the light. Right? People are pathetic. Right? So they're so to Satan. <laughs> okay. Let's go to 1 Peter 4. Okay. And that's why the scripture says in um, 1 Peter 5 and 8, be sober. Right? Be sober. Right? And no, I could be carnal. Now if I have to, we, we could be carnal, but we don't want to be carnal. Because why are these things being done? To try to get a reaction now of you. That's why they're doing these things. Because they can't. Right? And really, it's a control method. So what does this show? They're not in control. Because if they were in control, they wouldn't need to do that. Right? <laughs> so there's something, obviously, that the elect have that they don't have. And they see that. That's why the scripture says, be sober, be vigilant. Vigilante, looking, observing. And that's another thing. That's why they do that as well. Because they know, you see. Your eyes have been opened, what, to the matrix. Right? Which this is the matrix. And because the elect's eyes are open, what does Esau do? Well, uh, he sees now. So we've got to put out some type of form of deception. Right? So that's what Esau does. He sends people. Because your eyes are open. You can see it. You can see beyond the tricks, the wiles. Because your adversary, the devil, that was the adversary that just went by. Yeah, he was the devil. Right? And we have many adversaries, many adversaries. Right? As a roaring lion walketh about, seek him whom he may devour. Right? And that's exactly what's happening. The devil is what? Walking about, seeking whom he may devour. And when you go into that word devour, completely destroy it. Completely. So the devil is walking about the spiritual demon Satan, using people's vessels to try and get the elect out of the way. And that's why Yahweh said to Peter, Simon, um, son of Jonas, Simon, son of Jonas, I have prayed for thee, I prayed for thee. Satan desired to shift, shift thee. But I pray for thee that your faith fail not. So this is what's happening. It's just it's Satan basically trying to shift the elect. Okay. Walketh about. 
So when you speak about the spiritual demon Satan, remember, he's working on people's vessels, having them do things. Okay? Whether that's them monitoring you, whatever it may be, that's not them. It's the spirit that's in them, a wicked spirit. Right? And a lot of these people, believe it or not, yes, they sold their soul. That's why they that's why they're doing these things. Right? Whether it was a little gift card, you still sold you still sold your sold your soul to do whatever you were told to do. Whether it was a car, whether it was some money, right? Whether it was some money, these things are going on. And some of you, you may even you may not even realize it. You may be in a city or a town that deals with what? The occult. Right? And the occult, what does the occult deal with? Deception. The occult deals with deception, witchcraft, and illusion. Right, and in, it's, it's a fact in every town, every single town, there's a witch, a high level witch in every single town, right? Okay, but the scripture says there is no enchantment against the sons of Jacob, none, so really you're wasting your time, <laughs> okay? And it says, Who is this steadfast in the face? So we got to resist, resist the devil, and he shall flee, right, bro. The elector, the hopeful elector minding their own business. So you've got to ask yourself, hold on a minute. You have to lie. You're going about your everyday life. You're minding your own business. That's Satan upon them. They're drawn to you. So yeah, even the demons, they're even drawn to what? This word. Right? It's spiritual. Okay? Who was this steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplishing your brethren that are in the world. So these things that we go through, it's all accomplishing the what our brethren in the world. Okay. It's a part of the battle. So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shadow arm to the hopeful elect across the globe. Shadow arm. Oh.